Good day, you absolute legends. In today's video, I want to play the worst rated game on Steam. It has to be the bottom end of the barrel. It really does have to be extraordinarily bad. However, Steam has a funny mechanic where it hides the worst and most trash games imaginable. It hides them. In fact, you have to go hunting for it. And that's exactly what I did. So how was I going to unhide what Steam has already tried to hide? Well, I thought, first of all, if I go into the features section, this will show me categorically what is the very best games it'll always push them to the top now if i can carry on pushing down the show more button and that will then take me to the bottom of the list then maybe at the very bottom and at the very end of that list it will then show me the worst stuff the really really crud stuff the, the stuff that he wants to hide now i do have to go through many many pages in fact it only shows me around about 30 games at a time and we have just over 1500 games in this category to try and cipher now so i'm gonna be at this for a while ladies and gentlemen I've found it. It's called War of Three Kingdoms. It's rated as overwhelmingly negative with 51,963 reviews. Overwhelmingly negative. And the last, for example, recent reviewing was 1,514 overwhelmingly negative reviews as well so let's see exactly what they had to say about it so just before we do read the reviews i just want to open up google translate very quickly and see what the developers have to say what this game is essentially all about so it's an immersive card game uh, about three kingdoms fair and competitive we'll get onto that in a second because the reviews definitely say that this game is not fair by any stretch of the imagination apparently it's a casual martial arts game but it's meant to be a card game so how does martial arts compared with that i have absolutely no idea none of what they have said in this description makes any sense oh my god ladies and gentlemen honestly ladies and gentlemen the reviews are an absolute goldmine of literature perfection let's go over some of the reviews and see what everybody had to say about this goldmine of a game the phrase pay to win actually becomes a joke here because the developer's concept of payments won't come less than five grand in usd i spent near 300 hours playing this game and i can speak with certainty that this game is is not in big capital letters not worth your time and money the game is significantly unbalanced you are at a great disadvantage if you're unwilling to spend at least several hundred dollars in this game the developers should be despised and ashamed for its greediness gambling slash lottery like reward systems are also widespread within the game don't worry ladies and gentlemen i got google translate the weapon of choice to unravel the secrets of this message complete garbage scum this kind of game is not fair at all god zhao young I think I say Zhao, 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 sorry if I mispronounced that, but God Zhao Young and the like can't die at all. May Meng Zin decided to give up the game after playing it for six hours. Don't waste your time and money. So, ladies and gentlemen, after the encouraging review list, I really want to play this game. I want to see what it's all about. So, let's get it downloaded and let's start playing. And here we are, the tutorial. Now, I'm trying to see if I can get this game to English, but literally, when I click on the icon that is obviously for the settings of the game, I first have to press this button. I am forced to play the freaking game without even being able to change the settings. It physically will not allow me. What is even going on here? Now, obviously, I am not a native Chinese speaker. I have no idea what any of anything that's popping up on screen right now even means or says. So if you are a native Chinese speaker, can someone please explain to me what this is all saying? What does it all mean? Essentially, I'm assuming I just need to click here, click there, and it will defeat that guy because that's what the game wants me to do. It's as if it was like trying to teach me how to play. And I got five or something. It's like five coins, five gold, five whatever. And it looks like I've gotten these cards, I'm assuming. Now, again, it's forcing me to play something else. And I now am locked in a game playing whatever this is. 
and I can't even change the settings yet. It will not allow me to change anything because I was, like I said, really hoping, really hoping that I could go ahead and try and change it to English or something that maybe I might be able to understand, but that doesn't seem to be the case. I'm just getting told to click here, click there and click everywhere else. Everything's flashing at me. I have no idea what the heck I am doing. Now, for anybody who has played this game, let me know in the comment section down below. Even if you do put it in Chinese or whatever language it is that you natively speak, let me know about your experiences with this game. Did you enjoy the game? Didn't you enjoy the game? Did you agree with the overwhelmingly negative reviews? Now, I finally managed to open up the menu and it does look quite extensive but one thing i noticed there was the middle icon and then i'm assuming those are packs that you have to buy and yeah i mean looking at that i'm assuming that's probably where most of the the hate has started to come from as well because even on the settings menu you have an option to buy things what the physical friggin hell is going on now i'm trying to look at this menu i'm actually trying to take a picture on my phone to google translate what this all means to see if it's like a language change i can i can pick and sadly from my understanding there is none but yeah i mean there you go ladies and gentlemen that's why this game is so incredibly bad even in the settings menu of the physical game, it's still trying to push you to buy packs for cards and, and everything else. It is incredibly cursed. And to be honest with you, I didn't even want to entertain this game anymore because my GPU was ramping up to God knows what level. And essentially, I think it was doing more than just playing a simple card game. I don't even know if this thing was trying to like mine Bitcoin or something. That's how much I do not trust whatever this game was. So I've gone ahead and I've deleted it off my system and even removed it from a library. That's how cursed of a game and how bad this game was. So yeah, like I said, let me know your thoughts, comment section down below. And as always, my name is Professor Cynical, and I'll catch you all again in the next one. Bye for now.